Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video. Um, I actually damaged my Tiny Whoop um, Cloverleaf antenna. It's broken over here and I've been getting some pretty poor reception out of it. So I know guys have done uh, a mod to put a um, just a, sw a whip antenna on here. So I'm just going to go over how I did that. And basically, uh, I went ahead and cut this off right here. And you guys can see uh, right here and here I've scraped away the tracers on the which is the black stuff right here and I revealed the uh, metal underneath and I went ahead and um, tinned that and on the back side is where the center portion the center pole is and you guys can see right here that is where I scraped off the uh, the black coating on the center where the tracer, uh, the center tracer is going to go, or the um, center portion is. So, uh, what am I going to replace this with? I'm going to replace it with a little whip antenna. Probably asking where you get this from, and if you have any type of a rubber ducky antenna, you can just take them apart like that, and you'll. Re and I basically just cut off what was sticking out here, and I shortened this a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off about the last uh, quarter inch of this, um, and there'll be a braid on the outside and a coaxial cable in the center. But basically you have to take the braid off and braid it to uh, either side and then... Okay, I'm gonna do my best to keep this in shot. Let's take a sharp uh, knife. Like I said, get about the last quarter inch, maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch. You can always trim it to size if you happen to make it a little bit too long, but I'm just gonna roll this across here. So we're gonna remove this outer bit here. So I've got this little bit here, and you'll see the braiding on the outside, and I'm sorry this is not a very good, I don't have any type of a tripod today. <laughs> Alright, so basically, let me see if I can do this on camera. You take this braiding, and you're just going to debraid it here, I'm just going to, and you want to get about the equal amount to either side, and you're going to twist it. Best you can here. Okay, so you should have a uh, little cross that looks like this with the braiding part, braided parts being on the outside. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off just the very end. You'll see this plastic coated metal wire right here. I'm going to go ahead and take off just the end. I'm just going to try and strip it at the last uh, cup, like two, three millimeters or so because this is going to be soldered onto that center point on the board. Okay guys, so when you're finished, you should have a little bit that looks like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and tin all three sections here. We're going to bend these 90 degrees forward and I'm just a bit uh, to look a little bit like a pitchfork so it'll match uh, the, um, the tiny whoop. So all you have to do to do that, and I can do that before I tin it, is I can grab my pliers, but basically you're going to take this and bend these guys 90 degrees. It's going to look a little bit like a pitchfork. Just like that. And go ahead and tin all of this and the center. So I'm going to do that off camera. Okay guys, so here we are. We have the pitchfork ready to be soldered. Um, now the center uh, piece is going to go on one side of the board here. Now the center piece is going to go on one side of the board and the uh, pitchfork side is going to go on the other. Uh, I could probably have shortened this up just a little bit so there's not that raised bit there. but. Um, it uh, should solder on just fine, so um, I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to get back to you as soon as I'm done here. Okay guys, so I just plugged in my Tiny Whoop, and I have it transmitting to my little monitor right here. Uh, it's doing a good job. Now, I left this um, previous um, antenna broken for quite a long time, so I most likely damaged my uh, board by not transmitting it. Eh, maybe not. But um, it looks like uh, the transmission is pretty good. I went into the other room, had a little bit of static, but nothing that I wouldn't uh, already expect. So, um, so far, I'm, all, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, if you guys are going to be pretty rough on the, these little antennas here, this is nice because it's flexible. Uh, it's just a quick little video uh, tips here. Um, let's see here if I can see the soldering job. Didn't do the best of soldering jobs. You can't really see it that well, but um, it, it, it's, it'll work. So, so there's the back side there, which is the one, uh, the single element in the center, and the two braided parts went to the outside of here. And so it is pretty hard to see, but hopefully you guys get the idea. If you have any questions, leave me a comment in the uh, comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.